Now, I gotta say, I'm not usually used to doing videos like this. Basically, no editing, just me and you talking. And today we're gonna be talking about how I plan to start over. That's really what it is to me. I think that this challenge, what I'm about to embark on, is taking $5 a day on any day that the stock market is open, investing it, and hopefully having good results. And obviously, if you haven't seen it on the channel, you can check out the previous videos that I've posted about this. But I'm gonna be doing these diaries. Sometimes we'll be in the car, sometimes we'll be at my desk. But I'm gonna call these like diaries almost, where I'm just talking about my plans. And you know, in today's video, I'm gonna kind of give you my perspective on how I want to approach this challenge, because I think that you can approach it in many different ways. And for those of you guys that don't know the challenge, I'll give you a brief recap. Our goal is to invest $5 a day on days that the New York Stock Exchange is open. And we can buy stocks, ETFs, cryptos, commodities, really whatever we want. And of course, our goal is to do that every single day throughout 2024, starting February 1st is when this challenge is starting. If you wanna join us, you can go to the website 5indaily.com. I'll have it down below in the description. But basically, I'm starting over. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about what I wanted to talk about in this video. Guys, I've never had an account this small. Even the first account I ever traded when I was 18 years old, my first trading account was $300. So I've never had a time where I really had to think, okay, how am I going to approach the challenge? And so there's two ways to approach this challenge in my perspective. Person A wants to come out of the gate swinging, investing in things that might carry a little bit more inherent risk, maybe a little bit more downside possibility, but they're doing that to try to get up in equity quick. They're trying to get gains quicker for whatever reason. Person B is on the opposite end of the spectrum. Their entire goal is just building into a position for a longer term capital run where they're building in capital, you know, $5 at a time. And really that, that's the two perspectives I think that you can look at this challenge and I suppose you could potentially be in the middle of the two or you could, you know, you could split, you don't have to do $5 into one stock, you can split things up of course, but you might split something that's more risk on, risk heavy and risk off. So I sat for a while and I, and I really pondered on what is my strategy gonna be? And I'm gonna share it with you guys now. My strategy is going to be to keep a very diversified portfolio selection early on. What that means is I want to invest in ETFs. I don't want to invest in individual companies because right now we're at an interesting time. You know, we expect the Fed to cut rates minimum three times in 2024. I've made a video about this on my channel. The market's expected to cut six times. So we expect rate cuts. Historically, after rate cuts is when the market uh, corrects itself. It's when it goes down. And so right now i think for me it's gonna be an ill-advised play to put my money into one given stock that has the potential to drop you know 30 40 50 60 percent on a potential correction within the next 12 months i'm not saying it has to i'm not saying that's going to happen and by the way i might be wrong this challenge is not about being right or wrong this challenge is about getting invested and staying invested and of course inherently there's a competition here you guys are going to be watching this and you're going to try to be beating me right you're going to try to beat me and, and have a better result and that's fine could I probably get a better result? Yes, but I'm going to do something that I think will diversify. So I'm gonna invest in two different funds, ETFs. Actually, I'll pop up my screen here in a minute and share with you guys the two of them. And the reason I'm doing that is an ETF, for those of you who don't know, think about a basket. And instead of buying just Tesla or just Apple or whatever it is, instead of just buying that with my $5, I'm buying a ticker symbol, which feels just like a stock for $5 or $2 or whatever, or more. And it's diversifying my, so I'm actually holding more than that, more than those companies. And uh, it's like a basket. So inside of the ETF might be 500 holdings or even more. And so in fact, today I'm gonna show you one that's gonna be over 3000. That's what I'm investing in. So I'm gonna hop over here to my screen here. Give me just a minute. As we hop over here, yeah, sharing with you guys what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna split my investments $2.50 each to start. Now this strategy will change within probably the first three months and then I'll switch up to something else. But my goal is to build a few hundred dollars of capital, $5 at a time in this challenge through this and then take a look at where I'm at 
uh, and then try to pick apart the market. And, and that's when you'll see that majority of you guys are probably going to outperform me for the first three months, but watch out by later in the year because that's when I'm going to try to start to pick apart the markets. And the reason I do that is I want to get capital rolling. So I, I, you know, I have an account that's actually rolling. And secondly, the reason is because I'll have a dividend yield on both of these positions. So I'll start to spit out dividends and then it, then it'll start to roll a little bit. And of course it's a small account. We know that, but that's what I'm, that's what my goal is. So the first one I'm going to build into my account will be VTI. It's the Vanguard total stock market index fund. For those of you guys who have never heard of this. This is literally the total stock market. It is what it says. It is the entire stock market. So imagine you could buy every company in the stock market in one ticker symbol. That will give me exposure to the S&P, the Dow, and NASDAQ, which obviously is comprised of mostly the tech sector. So it's going to allow me to get that. And you can see, because of that, first of all, let's look at some metrics. Um, I'm going to go quickly over here to its performance. Its 10-year running performance is 11.44%. I like that. That's where I want to, I want to see this number above 10, preferably. You can see five-year performance, uh, three-year performance, one-year performance, three-month performance, one month, year to date. Secondly, when I go back to the summary, you can see it was started in 2001. I like that because I want to see something that's been around at least 10 years. And expense ratio is extremely low, 0.03%. That's less than a 10th of 1% is what it's going to cost me to hold this uh, as far as a fee. So I, I, I like that as well. It does have a small dividend yield, although I'm not investing in this to get a dividend. It does have a 1.44% yield. So that's important to me as well. But more important, look at the holding. Come down here. What am I investing in? Well, the top 10 holdings comprise of 26%. So 26% of every single time I invest in this is these holdings. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, Google, you bet it. I mean, you can read it all. So, you know, that's where my diversification comes from. And... All I mean by that is that this is going to help me diversify. I'm not saying you need to do this in the challenge. Everybody's on their own challenge. There's, in fact, look at all these tickers that are just right here. These are all sorts of different things that people would potentially look at. But this is something that, you know, kind of helps me diversify. You can see 12.8% in financials, 11 in consumers, 28 in tech, uh, 12 in health. So you can kind of see that I'm, I'm, I'm very diversified across the board there. Basically, in com I mean, it's all stocks. It's all stocks. The second one that I'll be adding is the Schwab US Dividend ETF. This was found more than 10 years ago. It's still got an extremely low expense ratio, but it's got a three and a half, I'm rounding up there, three and a half percent dividend yield. Part of my goal is to get dividends rolling inside of the account so I can start to compound. So even if the market starts to correct to the downside, I still have something that's generating me income. I know you're probably thinking, Patrick, this is $5. I'm taking this challenge as serious as I take one of my actual portfolios. I'm taking it extremely serious because at the end of this, I want to have a portfolio that was built off of the right foundation, whether that's $5 at a time or $500 at a time, I could care less. It's built off the right foundation with solid backing. And so this all looks good. Look at the performance. Look at the 10 year over 11% again. Take a look at the holdings. You'll notice that when you read these holdings, that's why I like this. Compare these two here. Look at the holdings here on the left and look at the holdings here on the right. You notice anything? They're different. This diversifies. The, now keep in mind when I buy VTI, I am also buying everything that's in here. VTI has Broadcom, it has Home Depot, it has Amgen, it has Chevron. But what do all these have in common? These are all some of the highest producing dividend stocks in the stock market. For those of you guys that didn't know that, you can go research any of these and you'll realize, wow, it has a phenomenal dividend yield. That's what this is all about is the dividend portfolio on, on, on this side. And so this allows me that, to realize that 40% over here will go into this, 27% will go into this. This is important about the way I'm building this portfolio. Again, this is not designed to be a flashy edited. This is designed to be raw, real, and I'm showing you what I'm going to do. Now, different people, I'm gonna pop over here to my face again. You know, different people are gonna have different strategies. So some of you guys are gonna be more inclined to, uh, you know, get in crypto. Some of you guys will be more inclined. I saw inside of our group, by the way, if you're not part of the group, make sure you get over there. If I pop in here, you guys will see, look at this group, all these people commenting and they're, they're, they're chatting with one another. They're asking questions. They're locking in positions. Look at this one. Somebody locking in Amazon and Tesla. They're splitting those two in $5 a day. You know, that's a strategy. This is Zach Ragsdale. That's a strategy. We'll see what happens. 
I'm not saying it's wrong, by the way. That's a more pinpointed strategy. But the point is, as we grow the account, you need to come into this not blind. You have to have a strategy. For me, I'm going to start calm. I'm going to start diversified. I'm going to get my feet wet. And then as the markets fluctuate, as opportunities align, like let's say I see an opportunity on a specific stock where I think it's extremely undervalued and I think that there's a great buying opportunity or maybe it's crypto, something. I'll shift the five bucks into that for that period of time. Maybe that's a week, maybe that's a month, maybe that's three months. I'll shift it if I see the opportunity. The point is at $5 a day, I'm just doing something. And I hope that you guys are taking this as serious as I am because I realize some of you are laughing with me it's $5 a day, but you know what? If you can't treat $5 a day serious, you're not gonna be able to treat $50 a day serious or $500 a day serious. I believe that the type of people that win can treat $5 no different than $500 or $5,000. And so I want you guys to really focus in on this $5, how can I grow it? This is not a competition, it's a challenge. Can I invest $5 a day? If you wanna make it a competition, we can. And of course, I'm sure some of you guys are going to. But my goal is not to flip my $5 a day account into something, some astronomical thing and make it a great case study and look at me, look at me. That's not the goal. The goal is to show the world how $5 a day can impact a portfolio. Those are the things that I'm investing in. I hope this brought you value. Hope you enjoyed.